Hello and welcome back. We're at a lair of a legendary salt kraken, which is kind of spicy, honestly. I mean, it won't hurt us, but there's a not 0% chance for it to accidentally kill us, <laughs> which is always fun. But the good news is that we are in the ideal uh, place to test fire our jacked uh, chain laser. So that's always fun. Not really gonna bother clearing this place out. Ooh, vast animus. That's a kind of spicy meatball. Ow. Um, okay, maybe not that spicy. It's right here. Uh, they're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. They're dead yet! And we have ego. We get the ego. Yes! Yes! Plus one ego! Oh, heck yeah, bud. Okay, I really don't want to auto explore this zone because there's a, like I say, a not 0% chance. Oh, come on, bud. Well, we actually got a corpse from that uh, seed sprout worm and I accidentally butchered it, which is did we just get another corpse? Oh my god. Um, those are really rare. <laughs> those are really rare. And also, they sometimes can be the, like, cure for some diseases. So, like, um, I'm gonna be really upset with myself if later I find out that I needed that. A little bit of a, a little bit of a spicy meatball there. Oh, we got a Gershworm. What are these things called? Yeah, Gershworm. Bzz. Fire, firing off my laser. Are we getting ick slugged right now? Yeah, we're poisoned. Okay, we rest until heal. We should be okay. Ick slugs suck. They're not great. They're also, I thought they were mollusks. Maybe that wasn't an ick slug, but I, it looked pretty ick sluggy. That is a worm of the earth, different. So I guess they are worms. And they also apparently poison. I assume they've got other stuff going on. You know, the worst part about uh, legendary Krakens is sometimes they're just not in their lair. <laughs> This will, again, this is going to be something that appears in the in the patch notes in the future is Legendary salt krakens now have a less less chance of like just digging outside of their lair There was a patch notes quite recently uh, well this year at, at the very least that was like um, Legendary no wandering nomads would no longer leave their lair and start wandering which I thought was really funny. It's like, that's, that's, don't stop them from doing that. That's what they want to do. <laughs> Caves of Cud devs just stop and they stop in wandering nomads from living their best life, honestly. Oh God. Another seed sprout corpse. Oh my God, this is a real problem. I keep butchering them. I, I, I keep thinking we didn't get one and then we got one. I'm going to turn butcher off, actually. Um, we should turn it off because I keep butchering things and then uh, picking up all this worm meat. Look at that. We actually did get a corpse. Like I say, uh, that's actually really rare because seed sprouts are not really a commonly occurring enemy. Like the the they aren't really on any population table as i understand it um they're just kind of like a rare enemy that you can come across so if you're finding one um you know it's actually kind of worth uh paying special mind and uh killing them and maybe even making a note of their corpse like i'll be making a note of their corpse here as soon as i'm done 
uh, because as I say, a uh, seed sprout corpse is a, occasionally, it is occasionally a uh, cure. What do you mean? All right, well, we just got our flawless crystal shard mail. Okay, bud. Okay. That is a really nice get, and it's going to overburden the shit out of us. Um, how, what can we mod this with? Anything? Can't really... I, I kind of want to put Slender on it. Wooly wouldn't be bad either. Um... This... Oh, wow. Uh, we are really over encumbered right now. Um, I'm going to come back here. Let's recoil to Ezra. And just for the time being, I'm going to drop this armor. And, uh, let's do a little bit of bartering. That is an amazing get that we just got. Also, while I, I'm here... I'm really, I really just need to buy a ton of bananas. Like all of the bananas. I'm going to have no water, but it's fine. Oh, we already have a chest here, actually. Did I put anything in here? Oh, I had a bunch of books here. Okay, um, let's take some of these things. Might need to pick up this whole thing, actually. I didn't realize to put a bunch of books here. Um, let's go ahead and equip this nylon body pack. And then let's pick this. I can't pick up both these things, but I can pick up this chest. Um, then let's preserve our food. I still want to buy some more, um, bananas. Where is our, where are the ranchers? Hello, ranchers. Hello, where are you? Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess at this point, I also want to cook from a recipe and I want to do... Not this one. I want to do our, like, yeah, whenever you drink fresh water. I should really set that as a favorite. And then we're going to do control F Y. Okay. Uh, K, K, refreshing. Um, control F Y. K, K. Control, whoops. Control F Y. K, K. Um, control F Y K K. Oh, I'm looking for the log for it to tell me what, you know, when we've, um, swelled with the, whatever knowledge of blah, 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 which, um, thank you very much <laughs> for adding that in control F Y K K. Wow. We're not getting very lucky with this. Control F Y. K K. Are we not did we did we not get it yet? Seriously? Yeah, we really didn't get it yet. Control F Y. K. Oh. We no longer have water in that. Oh, we, we no longer have water. Period. Alright, let's sell something real quick. Let's sell these feathered spiked gauntlets. Uh, wah, k, k. Have we spelled, swelled? No, we haven't. Good lord, come on. Seriously? Really? Uh, are, we, we are under the effects of that recipe, right?
Yeah, we are. We're, we're just getting so obscenely unlucky right now. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Wow, this is uh, getting kind of absurd. There we go. Wow, you have a metamorphic metamorphic polygel, huh? Well, that's uh, certainly worth grabbing. Glad I went to all that extra work, actually. Okay, um, what do you mean broken? Wow, okay, mechanical wings are broken. Were they always broken? I miss all the ulnar stimulators. They're nice, but they're not as nice as flawless crystal. Um, doop, 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 doop. Oh, we have some lovers blossom. We should use those. Floating glow sphere. This stuff. I guess I'm keeping the nano pneumatic jack jackhammer. Salt stained chest. Um. Oh yeah, and we need to sell like all of our copper nuggets. Uh, some of these things. Should probably start buying some herberries as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've got three metamorphic polygel. Uh, I don't know how to do this form of math. <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it in my head, but basically three metamorphic polygel means we would get um, four, then eight, then sixteen. We would have sixteen cloning draughts. Sixteen is pretty good. Um, I think thirty-four would be better. Thirty-two, sorry. I think thirty-two. Obviously, 64 would, like, at that point, I, that's a full water skin of cloning draughts. We would, I would never need cloning draughts again. Um, so, you know, that, at that point, we could, we could rest. We could finally rest. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill for now. I'm not gonna use the polymo polymorphic, metamorphic, polymorphic, whatever, metamorphic polygel. Good lord. Um, we're gonna come here, we're gonna drop off our books. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do, well, first of all, we have some books. F2. I'm gonna buy some fix-it spray foam, if only to sell our mechanical wings. They're actually, I think they're not terrible, uh, a not terrible gift for the um, mechanimists as well. So like, either way it's worth fixing them, I think. But then we're also going to go to our miscellaneous and drop this, or I guess just open it, T tab take all. Was there some legendary books in there? Oh no, advertisements for legendary hatter and legendary shoemaker. Okay, and then we go, um, I think at maybe like level 30, I might want to hand in our books. So, I mean, like, it's within sight. You could make arguments for why 40 is better, for sure. Um, or Corntown, that's goat folk, right? Or is that, what is that? It is goat folk and antelopes, but only really, it really only matters, uh, if I like, you know, if I'm good with goat folk, if I like, if I'm just barely on the fringe of being, uh, you know, good with them. So I'm going to put my, do I want to put my Chris, Chris Steel shard mail in there or do I want to keep it for like what we're wearing right now? Oh, I guess I didn't even modify this yet. So yeah, never mind. We're gonna remove that. Um, I'll, I'll keep it for. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it for uh, trading purposes, and we're gonna, you know, move on to uh, flawless crystal. I think it's you know objectively better, even though we did just kind of nuke our 
DV. Uh, that's fine. I'm cool with that. We have 14 AV. That's quite good. Plastiver Bonnet is quite nice, actually. Mm. It's okay, I, I suppose. Do we still have our... Uh, are we still metabolizing? No, we're hungry. Because I walked through the desert, right? Okay. Um... Let's let's do this recipe. Add to favorites. Cook. Okay. Control F. Wa. Okay. Okay. This is the uh, this is the Control F. Wa. K. K. Uh, episode. And technically, I have to hit I to go to my inventory as well. So it's the I Control F. Wa. K. K. Um, okay, we know what everything is now. So what did you have? High Explosive Grenade Mark II. That's actually quite nice. Oh, Solar Cell. I don't think I know how to make Solar Cells yet, so I will grab that. Battle Axe, Eigen Pistol. Some nice stuff. It's, it's nice. Um... I'm not going to buy the solar cell. The only reason to buy the solar cell would be if I wanted to make some uh, and then shove them in some of my like passive items. And, you know, there is some value in that for sure, but I think I'm good. I'll find one. You know, we're going to do some ruin diving eventually. And um, I'll get one for free. Oh, wow. Radio powered. That's a really nice mod. Uh, I really like freeze ray, but I don't necessarily want to make one. So yeah, let's just like call it with that. They don't have any fix it spray foam. Oh yeah, and also um let's just go and uh make sure our Icker salesman doesn't have anything worthwhile. Oh god, they're really on the the east southeast Icker. I should check our kipper as well. Ooh, our first sun slag. Um, still no fix it spray foam. We'll sell the nano weave vest. That doesn't have any resistances, right? Yeah, no. Sell this compass bracelet. As much as it's nice, I think the precinct navigator just makes it redundant. Um, sell all the fermented yuckwheat stem. That's actually quite valuable. We're, I'm afraid we're in the preparing stages right now, so like, uh, there's gonna be quite a bit of this. I think it's good to have a little bit of Witchwood Bark on you. Even in the mid, you know, mid, uh, game. Yeah, let's sell this frill of the rescued leaf. That'll actually be kind of perfect. Do you have anything else I would want? No. Now we're going to have to shed a little bit of water, but that's okay. We probably will find some odds and ends to sell or a buy. Like congealed salve, skulk. Um, do you have any... Spe no, you don't. Okay. Bone meal. Yeah, we don't really have any bone meal. Okay, uh, last thing. There's one more... Skim drafter to our west over here. And we have one more kipper. Displacer and fitted with filters. I like fitted with filters. Quite a bit. We could also look at powered exoskeleton. I just don't know. I do not know. Chef, what do you got for a chef? Not much. So seriously, no one had a fix-it spray foam? I wonder if maybe an apothecarist would have one. Don't don't ask me to explain my reasoning there. Other than, hey, if they can help you fix your body, they can help you fix your rifle. Certainly they can help you fix your mechanical wings. They've got some weird artifacts. Probably it's nothing. 
but <sighs> I control F wa K K I control F wa K K I control F wa K K Oh Spray bottle Yeah that makes sense I guess I hadn't seen a spray bottle yet Well shucks Okay nothing really exciting going on there Um Okay, well, we're still pretty overweight. Not super happy about that. And I need to put these mechanical wings somewhere, so I'm just gonna, like... Throw them down here until I have, uh... Until I, I find some fix-it spray foam. Also gonna put our nylon body pack in there. I'm gonna keep this the gyrocopter for now Throw in this four-corned helm that four-corned helm really has traveled like halfway across the world, hasn't it? Do we have anything else that we would like to throw in here? Probably but who could say what it is Kind of still want to keep our flamethrower. I don't know why I honestly couldn't tell you why I just like having it But I mean I probably should just throw it in there for now it is quite heavy. Okay, good to have some trade goods. I'm pretty okay with the rest of this, so that will help quite a bit. We're still kind of overweight, though. Also, I should put a cell in here. Radio-powered cell would be great because we do all of our traveling on the surface, and that's where radio-powered chem cells actually get their power from. Um, and I guess I'll put the rainbow weave cloak on. And I will officially equip our stinger. It's been a while since we've had it equipped. And let's put a carbide shield in our hand. Cool. My mirror shades ding as they should. And we will continue. Uh, I gotta go find that layer. I think it's here. No, it's not. Where is it? right here so southeast so we're on center and southeast i never did find the actual kraken so let's go do that real quick this place makes me nervous i'm not gonna lie like i, I i'm i'm gonna try my best to really slow my roll actually i'm seeing uh, some signs here i guess i'm gonna re-equip our Nano pneumatic jackhammer. And also set it to our primary because uh, this to me looks like salt kraken work. Yup. And this is the problem with salt krakens. There they is. Loved by grazing hedonists and mollusks. Disliked by the Seekers of the Sightless Way. I don't think that we're going to be able to recoup Seeker of the Sightless Way rep. So I think I'm okay with this. I'd rather make friends with grazing hedonists. Yeah, we're, we're not on great terms with them. Mollusks are at negative 25. Um, share a secret with me, maybe? Cider weep. They like, uh, they like to tell you about weeps. Well, that kind of paid for itself. Okay, let's just go ahead and, um, place cell here. We're just gonna head back to our own village and, uh, continue as we were. Why is it taking so long to travel? It's like really having to think about it. Uh, where is the worm? Is that it? No. Where, where is the worm? 
Is that it there? I feel like that mm, isn't it. Uh, I guess that must be it. Okay, so um, as we were south, uh, east and center. <laughs> Vast animus, yay. I mean, honestly, this is the best reason to continue doing this. No one can say that the jack laser, uh, chain laser is accurate. It's not accurate. It's a very inaccurate gun. However, it does fire uh, many times. Plastic for gloves. That's actually quite nice. Scaled nylon body back. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Um, plastic for gloves. No, it's not going to be worth it. So, yeah. Um, an average tier drumhead that just happens to oh, did we already encounter these two drumheads oh hey fix it spray foam perfect feel like we did encounter those i feel like i've gotten switched over again god this has been it's been quite a chore hasn't it <laughs> getting through the entire salt desert Ugh. Do one of those. Perfect. Uh, well, I guess what I can do is go back to the. Let's check all of these. Southeast. Forgotten Ruins. Acid Weep. I guess I must have gotten switched over. So I'm going to start here and then we're going to do east and then the first tile on the next pair of saying. Like, it really doesn't matter if I do literally every single tile. It'd be nice, but um, it's very difficult for me to keep track. I feel like the game's getting a little bit sluggish. It'd be about this time where I'd like restart it. Just to kind of like flush. Flush it of all of its nonsense. Axial Ubina. Yeah? Anything cool here? I'm gonna go with no. We are famished though. <laughs> what a good sound that was. That was, uh, that's gotta be the nanomatic jackhammer making a sound it's like pong tong just rolling around at the speed of slow you discovered dubakesh it do be cash and uh you know i i want to know what 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 faction do hermits belong to for me to have wronged them so i i would have thought they'd be part of like grazing hedonists or something i don't know oh we've got a mechanist and some uh free stride horse rooms what are you, what's your rep Hated by the villagers of Kigapur, disliked by the villagers of Kipad, disliked by the cult of the Coiled Lamb. Where's our, what's our Kigapur, village of the Kigapur? Uh, it's not great. Cult of the Coiled Lamb is kind of a bummer, but I am kind of okay with this Kipad. That sounds familiar. Kiphead is at like 70. Our Mechanimus rep is at... Wow, it's like really good. So I could definitely afford to kill this lad. And I'll get some Neutron or non-Neutron Fox. Uh, 
I'll get a uh, Eater's Nectar Tonic for doing so. So, uh, sorry, everyone. I like that sound so much. I don't know if that came through very well, but that was a very good sound. I sure hope using the laser gun doesn't have a chance of, like, destroying all the goods. I'm sure someone's going to tell me that it does. We have quite a lot of water here. I'm going to pick it up for now. It'll be the first thing I drop. I'm carrying too much to move. Okay. What do we got for artifacts? Bioscanning bracelet. We're going to set these to uh, treat these as grab. Uh, what else did we pick up? Armor? I'm really refusing to like... Oh, you know what? Oh, I guess we don't have the mechanical wings with us. What else did we pick up? Uh, Canticles Chromaic, probably, but like... I don't know. I, uh, what would have put us over the limit? I cannot tell. And we did get a solar cell. That might have been part of it. Oh, we got a carbine. Let's go ahead and treat these as scrap as well. They're good. They're really good uh, trade goods. And uh, true to my word, we are going to just use the Eater's Nectar. Oh, we got a point of ego. I forgot that it was a random uh, attribute point. Does make it a little bit worse. I won't lie. Um, then like potentially plus one to all attribute. I don't know though. Like it was just, it was really bumming me out. Like I, I, I probably like 10 times close to 10 times cooked with eater's nectar uh, a drop of nectar Ooh, fast animus and didn't get anything so like what would you do at a certain point i have to cut my losses and just say it's not going to happen like i know statistically it is going to happen i understand that but like when you know like at one point at what point is it is it not sunken cost fallacy at what point am I, am I not just saying, well, I have to do it because I've done it like so many times. Forgotten Ruins. I won't lie, these Forgotten Ruins kind of make me nervous. We have a legendary Mechanimist over here. Admired by frogs. I mean, we'll, we'll share a dram. I don't expect frog rep to be good um could ask them to join me for some sweet tonics or just buy them because we we do have water we have a lot of water that we have to shed boop 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 yeah oh that's almost all of our water all right let's uh sell some trade goods like maybe one copper nugget perfect Yeah, I'm just going to use it. One point of intelligence. I'll take it. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that we had the nano pneumatic jackhammer on. I forgot. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to take the iron stupid iron uh, battle axe. We're good with spiders. Kind of feels nice, honestly. Pick up all this stuff. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, a mimic. Kill the mimic. Get some stuff. Uh, we must have been on this. This must have been our left lane because I came in from here. So we're traveling up this way.
You're famished. Well, my dude's just gonna have to deal with it. We got another vast animus. We've gotten more lucky with plus one egos from vast animuses than we have from getting plus one to attributes. And I think that that says a lot. And I, I think I, I deserve uh, some skepticism. Wow. Did they succeed? Yes, they did. So I'm going to go ahead and break their line of sight for a moment. Wow, we got uh, the Gyre White of Vermadon. We just got a bunch of XP from that. Okay, well, maybe maybe I spoke too soon. As is classic uh, cut affair, I'm being proven wrong almost immediately. Still, I mean, we have gotten pretty lucky with that. Can't say that we haven't. I won't lie, these Krakens make me a little bit nervous because, like, I don't think they wander. They don't seem to wander. But, like, what if they do? <laughs> and what if they decide to walk, wander, like, exactly as I'm right next to them? Um, I'm going to cook from this recipe again. I should really try and get the other recipe because it's... Th this really is the control F wa. Uh, oh. Oh, what? Oh, I, I accidentally cleaned myself. I thought I, I swelled. I did not swell. You flush with the understanding of a laser pistol. So they had a laser pistol, pump shotgun, nothing too exciting. Okay. Speaking of which, I should learn uh, these mods. Didn't mean to do that. I kind of wish that was not ever the default button for... Never mind. It's fine. This is the uh, village that wants me to find that, that fort that is adjacent to another fort. What's your rep? Hated by trees, kith of mirror broker, or disliked by birds. You know, <clears throat> that's a lot of things to be hated by, but I'm mostly on bad terms with all of those, except for birds, which I have a ton of reputation. So I'm like totally fine uh, with this. You got any secrets? Uh, legendary albino ape. That's quite nice. And uh, yeah, Borokaru. Oh wait, no, that's another ape. That is a uh, worshipper of a Borokor. Makes sense. Vast animus. Oh, they have a Barathermite nearby. Interesting. Sorry, Barathermite. You, you picked a bad person to act as bodyguard to. You discover silver. <laughs> nice. Uh... These kind of ruins make me nervous now because, like, I almost died at one in this series. It was exactly this kind of ruin that had, like, a bunch of legendary dervish ash-stained robes, huh? Hmm. So it makes me a little bit nervous. Also, we've got, like, Gersh walls here. There's, oh, I see him. He's at the, he's, the Gersh is at the bottom. Uh, digging away here. Get out of here, Gersh. You're making a mess of things. Good lord. Is this just underground? Yeah, nothing exciting here. Uh, I think this was the east side. Easy enough way to check, I think. Could be wrong. Um... Purple Kagalep. No, I, I yeah, this okay, I got I got a little bit swapped over here. I was on this side. Wait, 
wait through the night time. We got some garbage. Did I just make a note of something interesting there? Ruin. Okay. We do have a ton of ruins that we could go check. Also, I know this episode is running along. Yego. Yego. Yego, my ego. Um, yellow Kagaleb. Uh, disassemble this. We're gonna run through the full gamut. Episode is running long. I really just want to get through this desert and be done with it. We are starting to see canyons, so we're almost done. Right? Too famished. Cook. Uh, yeah, we're very close, and then we can... I mean, we could basically switch now. Yeah, now we have a uh, canyon. Oh, legendary. What's your deal? Hated by succulents. Sure, we'll, we'll destroy you. We must have a lot of skill points that I basically just have not been looking at. So I'm just going to travel the slow way here. And I really just, like, I, I do want to be done with this. So um, we're going to travel over here. And I'm pretty sure we're doing, so we're currently at Northwest. I think we're doing center and east. Just kind of mark those it's worth looking at them just for a moment even if they're they're nothing because uh oh wow some russia floor um just exploring them means that you could potentially find a vast animus that's a you know very me specific you know special circumstance reason for caring uh but like you know just in case you happen to have enough glimmer we, we, we want them vast animus. And I am just going to like really kind of finish this off. I think after this, um, I think we'll be good to go for Bethesda Sousa. There's a couple of, I, I think I'm okay with oozes and I'm okay with unshelled reptiles. And I'm, can also be good with mollusks. And that's a weird one, but it is actually kind of a good idea to be good with mollusks at Bethesda Sousa. It's a not a hundred percent guarantee, but it can be a thing. Um, so you have anything cool? Not really. You have a very expensive weird artifact that I just don't care about. Might be amazing. I don't know. Could be. Could be fantastic, but it's a lot of effort I have to go to, and I've already done it enough times. What is going on with cut? It's like very unsure. I think it's because there's combat happening off screen. <laughs> I'm not pressing anything, right? Like it's it's just kind of, oh, we got a Dromad Caravan. Anything cool here? Engraved body pack. Russia floor, is that new? Nope. Y'all a pariah, huh? Or perhaps mechanimus? No, they're just they're what? Oh, they're mechanimus. They're all following a mechanimus convert. I guess if uh, dawn gliders end up in combat off screen, it can it can kind of slow things down a bit. Oh, vast animus. Really doesn't take a lot of shots to kill him, so it's worth doing it from afar. I guess since I've said that we were getting very lucky with uh, the ego bo boost, um, I've I drained myself of all luck from uh, 
Listen, I'm not a superstitious person. I do, however, track the irony of Cud. And more often than not, it uh, it's like it's funny, like drawing attention or talking about something seems to uh, seems to affect it. Kind of wish we were on good terms with uh, Snapjaw. Only because then I would never have to stop moving. Someone else. <laughs> like, why not just play on wander mode? Also, I know what you might be thinking. What happened to highlight mode? I don't know. It's been pretty interesting, to be honest. Every time I think about doing highlight mode, something happens. Where's our vast animus? There they are. Nope. No ego for us. It's a very small chance. It's like a... Uh, it's like a 5% uh, chance, I think. So like, you know, I don't expect it to happen very often. I'm, like, I that's like the difference between, you know, I'm not annoyed when I don't get the ego bonus because it is such a low chance. I'm only very happy when it does happen. But like getting plus one attributes to all attributes from the uh, drop of nectar is a 25% chance. So in theory, and I understand this isn't really how statistics work or like probability, um, I should get it one in four times I, that I do it, right? But I did it, I, I'm, not, I'm never not gonna complain about this, I guess. I did it like 10 times and I got squat diddly. I didn't just get diddly, I got diddly squat. You know, that's a lot of squat. That's more squad than most people deserve to get. It's all because I got that plus one to all attributes on like my first roll. That's why if I hadn't gotten that, then, uh, you know, like I, I spent all of my luck on the first roll and then, uh, <laughs> Kud was just like, yeah, you're done now. That's it. What you think you can you think you can do that again? No. It said one in twenty five percent chance. You know, it said uh, one in four chance once. You didn't think you were gonna get that like every time, did you? No. Now it's like a one in zero chance, my dude. Hey, we got a mysterious stranger, Betel boy. Disliked by roots. Admired by the villages of Karkalep. What's our Karkalep villager rep looking like? Uh, not great. We can break bread. It said roots, by the way, and not robots. Um, and then we will trade and, uh, kind of want to just, like, buy all of this. And this, and... You might uh, question me for buying all of these injectors when, like, I'm not even using them most of the time. We're gonna use them. I'm using them passively, you know? Let's sell that. I didn't even mean to pick that up. Let's sell these. That's actually quite a good chunk of trade goods right there. Sell those. And, um... One of these. Oh. And both of these. Perfect. Tonic. Uh, first of all, let's disassemble all these. Then use this. One mutation point. Sweet. I think it was on the right side here, so I'm just doing the rest of the marsh here. And then we're going to end the episode. And I'm going to tentatively say that that's it. Like, just put a big fat pin in uh, the desert being done. Ooh, flaming tar pits and a f uh, vast animus. Heck yeah, boy. Oh, is that is that our dude? 
Gyre White of Khan and Psychic Thrall. No uh, plus one ego bonus for us. Vibro Dagger, huh? Um, treat those as scrap and disassemble. Guys like Chris, treat those as scrap and disassemble. Camcell, pick those up. Did we pick up something that I missed? Magnetized boots. I can't remember why. They're really good for something. Plus four to save. I guess not. Disassemble. Treat them as scrap. Disassemble. Grappling gun. Gun. Love to see it. Treat those as scrap. Disassemble. Uh, one day I will see what the grappling gun does. Not today. Marsh has been really good to me. Like, astoundingly good. You know what I should do? I'm just noticing that we like kind of uh, mark the world a little bit with water is maybe uh, occasionally like I can carry with us a, some kind of breadcrumb trail or like maybe um, when I want to mark I'll just like find the nearest pool of substance ouch ah they got mental mirrored get shrekt bud get shrekt yeah i could just like um make a little pool and then mark it that way and then i'll know I'll like oh yeah this is where i left off Sorry, I'm like, I know I'm like really switching between screens a lot because I, I, I have a I have a, a method and a pattern that I like to follow and I keep getting like diverted from it. OK, that's it. That's it. We're done. We are finished. We're finally done. So um, there's a very, very small amount of desert left and there is some salt marsh left we could do the rest of the salt marsh it is probably worth it is this a historic site have we done this one yeah that's Dunaper. that's Dunaper. so i guess that's the one in the canyons i guess i was wrong about that and this is the one in the salt dunes so we have done that however um we have the one over here which is very close to ezra and that's the one probably in the uh I think that's probably the jungle one which we could do and then over here we have the one in the mountain and we could definitely do that one so we have some options we don't have to do bethesda susa next but i think we'll do bethesda susa next which gives me no small amount of anxiety i'll be honest anyway uh i'll uh if you uh, enjoy, are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.